Steve, the messaging from Hugh Jackson in the better part of the last week or so, you saw that was from October 21st, maybe hurt a lot of eyes and me's. And is, is there a sense that that, that kind of rubbed people the wrong way inside the Cleveland Browns organization? Absolutely right, 100%. I mean, it was after that game when I had some conversations with some people in the building that said, okay, enough of this. You know, the losing is one thing, okay? They're, they're developing young club. They know they're going to they're gonna take their lumps. But there became, we saw it in hard knocks, you heard it in the building, that Hugh Jackson, there was so much of it's my team, I'm driving the bus, I'm the guy. They're trying to create, when I say they, new general manager John Dorsey and his front office, they were trying to create a different culture that was not fractured. So that put the relationship, with the, the strained relationship with Todd Haley, what Hugh Jackson just said, that put that on full display here. If I have to step in, I'm going to step in because I'm the guy. They're trying to create a we-type culture there. That did not fit. And that's really when you started to hear a lot of the chatter, and that was last week, about Hugh Jackson really being in trouble, mainly because, again, the people who were in the decision-making process, in this building process, did not want to have that type of culture established. And then after yesterday, when it just became even more messy and more public, the rift between Todd Haley and Hugh Jackson, you knew one of them had to go. We got two scoops today of of two offensive-minded people being let go. That's why Ken Zimpizzi is probably going to take over as offensive coordinator because the development of rookie quarterback Baker Mayfield, that is paramount right now to what they're trying to do in Cleveland, Rhett. It's going to be interesting to see the moves they make here because now we see the coaching staff has gotten smaller, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Is that streamlining going to be a good thing for Baker Mayfield? Might they bring in some type of offensive consultant to oversee the development of things here? It's just going to be really interesting because now it's not just the development of Baker Mayfield. Two play callers, Hugh Jackson and Todd Haley, they're gone, which is why I think it has to be Zampezi because he was the OC in Cincinnati. He knows how to do this before, but there's still a lot of things they've got to work through. The players having to deal with this against a young football team, it's got to be a little bit of a shock for them right now. Yeah, no question. And, and Steve, kind of just uh, going back to what you mentioned here earlier, do you get the sense that these firings of both J- uh, Hugh and Todd Haley are less about production and more about overall handling of the responsibilities that they have themselves and of their, their responsibility to the team? Yes, yes, I, I really do. Look, John Dorsey and, and again, the, the people running this club, they knew, okay, there's a lot of optimism. We've got a chance to compete right now, but – I mean, for them to think playoffs or things like that, that, that was a little bit pie in the sky, which is why they really were talking about developing things, the process, the cliches we have about teams on the rebuild. Yeah. But, again, the fracturing. Th- this becomes public. Football players are smart. You know within a week if a guy is a good coach or a bad coach. You know right away if there's a fissures in, in, the, in the relationships with the coaches. And this was just becoming so public. We heard Ian report that Todd Haley was not listening to anything <laughs> that Hugh Jackson had to offer. You cannot have that, okay? That just is not acceptable. It does not work. Players eventually see through that. They start picking sides. They start losing trust. That is why you do not win. When you look at a team like the Rams, unbeaten, you listen to the the trust factor between players and coaches and the staff. it, it, it It is so different from what you're seeing in Cleveland right now. And, again, I think that's why the Browns felt they had to make a move now before they went deep into that Browns rabbit hole that they've been in for a long time to try to stem any type of problems and build things back up. So Hugh Jackson fired today after his 36th loss as the Browns head coach into his third season. Todd Haley didn't make it one season, fired after just eight games. And, Steve, it's almost like we saw this coming, right? I mean, like the whole world saw it coming after watching Hard Knocks and some of the interactions that we saw inside the team staff room and some of those team staff meetings with those coaches. Um, it, it, do you, you got that sense as well? I didn't have to watch Hard Knocks to know this was a possibility. <laughs> I mean, just, just covering the league for this long. We know Todd Haley. He is a strong personality. Hugh Jackson, a strong personality. Greg Williams, the defensive coordinator, is probably the strongest personality. You, you basically took three of the most combustible personalities – and put them on one staff so you knew there could be something like this, especially with Hugh and Todd Haley, because, again, Hugh gave up play-calling duties, and that is a tough thing for an offensive mind to do. Turned over the offense to Todd Haley. Apparently, Hugh didn't like some of the things Todd Haley was trying to do. 
Todd Haley's not going to listen to him. Uh, or if they've got a, a, a situation where, hey, one wants to put his thumb down on the other one who's in control, that's not good. So this was easy to see coming. It's unfortunate yeah. that it happened because they're all very good men. But now they've got to take into account what are their futures moving forward. I mean, Todd Haley just got let go by the Steelers as the offensive coordinator. He doesn't make it halfway through the season with the Browns. What's his next move going to be? Hugh Jackson, he's gotten two cracks at being a head coach. He's probably not going to get that opportunity in the NFL again. What's his move going to be? So it's a very painful, and I'm sure it's a tough time for, for Jackson and Haley right now, as it is with the Browns. And then the long-term futures of everything, that's where there's all kind of balls in the air, Red. Change has been the only constant for the Cleveland Browns over the course of really their second tenure in Cleveland. And, and this season, a real microcosm of that. You just go back to week one against the Steelers. Hugh Jackson was the head coach. Todd Haley was the offensive coordinator. Terod Taylor was the quarterback. Carlos Hyde was the running back. And Josh Gordon was the wide receiver. None of those people are currently in those same positions as we head into week nine uh, as the Cleveland Browns get set to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Steve White, 